Hello and welcome back to another video here on Forza Horizon 4, uh, part 5 of the Auction House Shootout uh, online challenge series that we've been doing, starting with D class and working all the way up to S2 class, although there's a possibility we might also uh, do some X class cars, uh, we'll see, as a sort of final crazy instalment to this, final seventh part to this little series, um, but yes. In S1, I managed to get hold of this Caterham. Um, quite low in S1, I'm afraid. Uh, didn't have much money to upgrade it. And James ended up in a Dodge Viper. Uh, I'm giving away the cars already because you'll have already seen them in the thumbnail. Uh, there's no point trying to hide what we've bought. It's kind of already quite obvious. Uh, but yes, I will still show you the process of us bidding on different cars and buying them. Uh, just to show you how we ended up with the cars we ended up with and then as always uh, the series of challenges that we put them up against each other um, in um, but yes uh, a bit of a interesting paint job for the caterham uh, flames but whatever flames make it go faster right anyway this is what happened when we met up with the two cars for a series of challenges. Uh, I hope you enjoy it. Actually, quickly, before I show you that, uh, if you haven't watched any of the previous ones, the rules are we are spending up to 10,000 credits on a car in the auction house, and we have six minutes to bid on it. And if we, the first car we bid on, basically, if we get it, we use it. And if we bid on more than one, um, the first car out of those that we win is the one that we use. Um, but we're spending 10,000 on the car and then we have whatever's left of that 10,000 plus an additional 5,000 to upgrade the car to as near to the top of the class as possible. Um, so just quickly going over that if you haven't watched any of the previous ones. Um, anyway, as I was saying, this is what happened when we bid on the cars and the series of challenges that we put them up against each other in. Uh, I hope you enjoy it. Some house. Yeah, um... I'm ready when you are. Search, change it to S1. 3, 2, 1, go. Okay. Oh look, another Volvo V60. <laughs> <laughs> Tune tuned S1 class. An Acura Caterham. RSX Cater. Oh. <laughs> oh, now we're down in the seven minute category. Yeah, you get to that quite quick. Okay, right, I've got one bid in. Oh, I'm going to bid on that. That is my whole 10,000 over, I get that. Oh no! Somebody's outbid me on that one. Winning this. Oh, I've got it! Right, so that was 8,000, so I've got 7 left. Who's that been in all my stuff? Not at all. I just lost my Falcon. I've also lost <laughs> my Viper. <laughs> Apparently I bid too much on my car. Oh. That can come out of my tuning budget. <laughs> I don't think it needs to be any faster.
hope you put a coat on. <laughs> have you taken the wing off that? <laughs> it does have a wing stand, yeah. doesn't it? Yep. No one's going to have traction. Okay, so if we race to that. Turn around when it is safe to do so. Oh, you're getting attacked by a golf. Wait, what? Um. What happened to my game? Everything's just frozen. Your controller ran out of power? No, uh, Falls has just crashed. Okay. Let's go. I haven't got it set as a group destination oh, no this time, but we know where it is. You just basically follow this road, don't you? out trying to get the power down on the sand. Yeah I didn't have much I didn't get much added on when I added stuff so. Do it so final race. Do we do that? Race we go. Wait, what? Why is the event cancelled? Says I can join me. It's a starting combo event. Join me. Once you're, once you're lined up again, I'm good to go. Damn, that thing's like a little flea. Yeah, no, it takes off. Oh, trapped it. At the roundabout, I think I might have pretty much reached the exit. top speed. You know what, that's just... This cage is really weird, because it's got loads of grip, and then it suddenly just loses all its grip. There's no, like, warning or anything. It goes straight on. Why am I looking at the map? I've had a crash. It's 
like, oh, hang on, there hasn't been a motorsport yet. Yeah. They'll add weekly changing seasons to Forza Motorsport. Oh, I don't know. All the tracks are in the snow one week. <laughs> Makes sense for the countries that have snow. Yeah. But really, Saudi Arabia with snow. <laughs> no, Australia with snow. Only snows in some parts of Australia. I guess you you change the season changes to winter and the tracks are as they would be in winter. So in some countries they won't change. I don't know. No. They've got to do something different with most sport because they're getting a bit similar. There's definitely a few cars coming in the next update though. Yeah. From Forza. What's happened to the Gran Turismo updates? Are they just gonna stop? <laughs> no. I know they said they were going to like reduce them and stuff, but it feels like ages. It has been ages. Uh, the next one's coming on the 21st. Okay. Or the 25th was one of them. But they said, oh, it's... What did they say? They, they worded it very funny um, when the last update came out. Yeah, no, I remember them being weird about it. So, there we go. Uh, that's what happened with the Caterham up against the Dodge Viper in the S1. I might have said S2 by mistake at one point. In the S1 uh, part of this little mini series of challenges uh, so part five um, but in part six we will be back with the s2 class cars so watch out for that one and uh, there might be something coming with uh, x class cars here on forza horizon 4 so do watch out for those coming very soon but otherwise that's going to be all for this video thank you very much for watching uh, i hope you have enjoyed it and i'll be back with the next video very soon